Everybody wants to make sure their home and their business is secure. The easiest way to do that is using video surveillance, but you don't want to break the bank in doing so. Well, today I'm going to show you a product that gives you the video surveillance with some elevated features and capabilities that you don't normally find at the price point that this unit is at. So stick around and let's get to it. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today um, we're going to be going over the new SwitchBot Pan Tilt 2K camera. And um, I really like the design of this. Uh, it, it's got a nice form factor that's not too obtrusive. Um, and it has some elevated features that I think you're going to really like. So we're gonna get it unboxed and see what we have. And we'll get it set up and test it out, see how it works. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna go ahead and get the uh, camera unboxed. So today we are going to be unboxing, setting up and reviewing the SwitchBot Pan Tilt Cam 2K. Uh, it's one of their newer cameras and uh, the other one was a 1080p. So this is definitely a step up as far as the uh, video quality. I think the design of the unit is also um, a lot better than what the previous design was. I like this piece on the bottom right here um, because it allows you to mount it to the wall um, instead of just setting it somewhere. Now, whether I'm going to mount it to the wall or not, I don't know, uh, but it's nice to be able to have that um, option. Let's set that right there for now. Let's see what else is in the box. Uh, of course, mounting screws, power cable, power adapter, which um, not a lot of people give you power adapters anymore. And here's that plate that I was talking about that allows you to take this and mount it so you can kind of clip that onto the bottom so it's secure. And if you need to take it off, you just turn it and pop it off. Um, they give you a little pin to where you can uh, reset it, which is something that you don't normally get anymore. So that's kind of nice. As you see, this is the camera and it's actually a really nice size. It's a nice form factor. Um, it's not too big and it has full tilt rotation capabilities. Uh, that's going to come in extremely handy. It also has a really nice feature, which we'll get into it and I'll show you once we get the app set up, but it has the ability of using privacy mode where it actually hides the camera. So, you, you know, if you won't want this, you know, facing the room all the time, uh, you can have it hide that and then only activate it um, with motion. If you use a motion sensor or times of day, or uh, we'll get into all the settings and, and features here in just a minute. They have this plate and this is uh, one of my favorite things, I believe, of the unit is the ability to use this plate to attach the camera. So if you did want to mount it, let's say on a wall or ceiling, you could just put that on there and there you go. It also gives you the ability of putting it on a tripod where you can screw it to the tripod, which is a really nice feature. I don't think there's a lot of cameras that I've seen at least that have that capability. Uh, so again, that just adds a little bit of added flexibility and functionality to the device. When you have this clipped on and you spin it, it's actually extremely tight. So you're not gonna have the camera accidentally come off this plate. You have to you know, really forcefully turn it, uh, which is good because again, you don't want it to uh, just accidentally you know, fall off the wall or something. Now, one really odd thing is they using micro USB instead of USB-C. There's so many devices now in the industry that are going to USB-C because it's so much easier. It has higher bandwidth capabilities. So if you are transmitting, um, video and audio and things like that. Of course, all this is doing is providing power. So that's probably not as big of a deal. You know, obviously there's still a lot of micro USB stuff in the wild, but considering you have to plug this in and leave it plugged in and you're not moving it around or anything like that, it's probably gonna be um, not a big deal. That should be fine. Um, here's something interesting too. They give you a reset pin if you have to reset the camera. And again, that's a, Nice little addition, don't know that you ever use it, but if you do need to reset the camera for anything, you'll have that. Another nice feature is that this camera gives you the ability of doing um, on-camera recording. 
So you can see there, you can put an SD card in there and uh, you'll be able to record to the SD card. So you don't actually need to have um, a cloud subscription to use this. So I'm gonna slide this SD card in here and then we'll get it powered on. Okay, so we got the app open and we're gonna go ahead and add the device. Now, I will have to say that um, I already started the process once, but then I realized that my phone was on the six gigahertz network. Um, this device only supports 2.4 gigahertz networks according to SwitchBot, which again, in my opinion, is a missed opportunity. I don't see any reason why they could not have included at least a five gigahertz network capability, uh, which is gonna give you a much faster rate of transmission. Um, yes, it can reduce the distance at which it can um, receive a signal, but I think it's a missed opportunity. At any rate, so let's go ahead and add this unit. So we're gonna add the device. I'm gonna scroll down here to security, pan, tilt, cam, 2K. Yes, it's flashing. Put in my Wi-Fi password. Next. Make sure red light is flashing. Set your phone's brightness to maximum. So we're gonna scan this. And there's the tone. I see the light flashing green now. Now the green light is solid. Okay. So let's name this bonus room cam. Bonus room. Use now. Okay. Well, that's actually a really nice video. I like it too because it tells you up there at the top left um, the speed at which information is moving, um, which is nice. Uh, as a tech guy, I you know I look at things like that. <laughs> so let's go up here to the settings. Uh, Wi-Fi settings we don't need to worry about. So here's the privacy mode that I was talking about. So when you turn the privacy mode on, it brings the camera down. And it hides the camera. So as you can see right there, that's privacy mode. We'll turn privacy mode off. And as you can see, now it's back to the camera. And you can actually see the infrared lights in the camera, which is nice. Okay, so let's see. You can set up motion detection, which is nice. So when someone walks in the room, it will detect motion. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do not have any cloud storage. I don't know if I'll buy the cloud storage for this unit. Probably not. So local storage, I only had a 32 gig uh, memory card available, but um, it supports up to 256 gigs. So you can put a much larger uh, memory card in there if you wanted to. And you can change, um, you know, recording settings, events, continuous. So you have some options there. Alert notifications. Yes, yeah, so you could have email alerts. If someone like comes in and you don't expect anybody to be here, they set point settings. Oh, nice. So I do have a point setting I want, and I want to make sure and catch. Uh, this is the main reason for this is because um, sometimes we have our small grandchildren come over and this is the crib they stay in and so I want to make sure we can monitor their movement in the crib so I'm going to set that as a point and then point two let's turn it over this way and that's my desk over there and let's get both see I can get the desk and the crib okay nice that looks like that's it right there I can probably fine tune that but uh, that's my little studio desk over there. So let's save that. I think we're good on that. Yeah, I don't really think I need human detection right now. I give you quite a few options. Yes, yeah, so that's a nice video. You have the ability to um, create a clip, actually speak to somebody. 
see what's in the features motion detection privacy mode i guess these are um quick options uh here's the motion tracking so if there's somebody in the house you, know, you could have it where it could track the motion again not relevant for where it's at here but kind of a cool feature and then if you wanted to manually uh pan and tilt then you're able to do that which is really nice yeah so that's good right there oh give you a nice wide screen which is really cool I really like that. That's actually a really good picture. Nice. You can do manual recordings and it'll save it. Nice. If you had more than one camera, there's your split screen. Oh, see, nice. So, so as I stand in there, you can see where it captured me um, setting the device up when I had turned on human detection. Okay. Well, I really like this camera. I'm going to leave it set up there for right now and uh, we'll dig into some more settings. Um, I did end up moving it. Uh, I'm sure you saw when I was setting it up, I had it over to one side, kind of looking straight across at the crib. Um, I decided to put it on top of a um, kind of a bookcase where I can actually look down into the crib because I think that's going to be more helpful in uh, being able to monitor the children. So uh, really nice device. I like it. I can see it being extremely useful in many different scenarios, being able to mount to the ceiling, being able to mount to the wall, setting it on a tripod, of course, just setting it on the counter or the bookcase or something like that. Uh, so really nice device. I'm gonna have uh, links in the description to the device and uh, you can go check it out. If you do decide to buy from my link, it is an affiliate link, so I will earn a small commission. Um, which I greatly appreciate. It just kind of helps go to uh, support the channel uh, so we can continue to grow and bring some great content. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And you'll definitely want to go check out this video here on another SwitchBot product that's going to make your cleaning in your house so much easier.